Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Albania or Iberia campaign in Europe Universe Alls 4. We have lots of admin points. I'm not spending them yet, um, even though we're doing an administrative idea group, and even though I am able to tech up, and tech would be nice, uh, would actually give us the head of time bonus, which would be quite a good bit of income. We might take technology over the next idea, actually. The production efficiency bonus would be quite amazing. I don't feel comfortable leaving these these cannons down here completely undefended. This one, yes. This one, no. And even then, I've got kind of an AI-ish looking uh, ratio there. We've looted the hell out of these provinces. Pretty much every province got looted pretty heavily. We now have 50 war score. Uh, kill was down to medium enthusiasm. If we can piece out Fung and Kill, we'll have more relative strength of the alliance. I think we wait for that to come back. And then we march this army this way. We go for Cairo. Or Cahir, as they're calling it, apparently. We'll shuffle balance those two armies. I'm hoping that he gives me a window to, to get my ten cannons across this strait. We'll see if it's possible. Generally speaking, the second you, like, move to do it, he'll send a navy right away, but... Yeah, he's moving right back. He's just gonna go back and forth over and over again. So we're doing great on manpower. I don't think there's any risk that uh, the Coalition's going to attack us right now. We're about to take back that fort. We're 51 war score. Five more can be obtained from ticking. Three more forts here. A fort back here. Maybe we take Cairo. I'm not going to be able to get across here. Over a long enough period of time, I could march my army all the way around from Africa. Well, this small army around from Africa. That's about it, though. Let's leave behind an infantry here. And we've got our little buddy here trying to offer us up some more war score from battles. It's very nice of him. Thank you, Kilwa. Stack wiping him might knock him out of the war. Especially if he ends up with a rebellion or lots of war exhaustion or something. Okay, let's wait until he is locked. Moving to the Aegean Sea. There we go. Maybe now he'll let me across. That should either be a stack wipe or... Yeah. Albanian Maghreb. I like it. We did good across that straight. So these final two forts will fall. Uh, he is looking to engage me, apparently with uh, four cav. Insufficient support, heavy cav army. Man. I, I just... I, I don't even... I'm almost starting to feel like I don't feel good about this victory. Like... <laughs> What are they doing? You know? Takes some of the fun out of it, don't you think? Alright, how's that disaster looking? It's at 57%. I'm probably going to have to revoke some of their territory to get their influence down. Which is going to piss them off, of course, but... Uh, kill was at medium enthusiasm. We have no individual war score against them. They are not going to want out until they get down to low, or we get individual war score. Again, we're not going to get individual war score, so I don't even think we worry about that. I'm concerned about him sending, like, a 60 stack down here. So maybe we don't do this, actually. Because he, he did have, like, a 40 or 50 stack left, and I don't see it. So it's probably down here, and I don't, I just don't want to... Our truce with Messina and Morocco are up. So we can feed some more Kabylia land. They appear to be having issues with cores. They're not even in the process of coring these provinces. Yeah, we don't need to expand for them in, in, anytime soon. Let's just take these two forts, I think, and then we peace out. Because we're not going to get much more war score than that. Unless we want to sit around for another five years or whatever it is to wait for Kilwa to want out. 
I suppose it won't be five years. What would it be like? Ten months? It's not that bad. And how much war score do you think we would gain if Kilwa wasn't in it? It really depends on how many forts they have. One, two, three, four, five, six forts. That's a lot of forts, actually. I think that if we wait, we would end up with a rather significant increase in war score. So let us do that. Hopefully uh, Kilwa ends up with some sort of other rebellion or something. There we go. Their enthusiasm is already at two. Never mind about that whole ten year, ten month thing. Just looking for provinces to potentially loot. This army is not looting very fast, but it's helping to pay for itself. Okay. This army may end up becoming permanently stuck now, so we're going to relocate that siege leader to this army instead. It's just 10 cannons, but he can't really engage it. Kilwa is at 8. They're fluctuating quite a bit. Kabilia down here, he's not scared. He's just going for it. Where in the hell is this Ottoman army? It's gotta be somewhere, right? Okay, was that medium? We'll send it with zero. They rejected! <laughs> zero reasons equals no. Next month. Hopefully next month they'll peace out. That did take 30 days. Our poor, our poor uh, diplomat is like, what? You sent me all that way for nothing. Okay, so we uh, have to wait till July 4th. All right, so we are at what? You were just, you were just willing to, and now you're not. Damn it. Three days later, and as expected, there is a 40 stack, which is why we didn't move that army down there. Not gonna worry about trying to cross the street to that province. Looks like we're just waiting one more month, hoping that he does go down to low. Apparently he's retraining troops or, you know, something. We just gained a core on Silistir? On what? Sweet! I just got a free core over here? That's awesome. I guess because they're orthodox, we've got them occupied. Sweet. Alright, um, we're getting close to that admin point cap. Also, uh, what was it? I was worried about something and I just forgot what it was. Oh, right, the, the rebellion. We don't want this to fire. Obviously. It's it's really, really, really bad if it fires. We have max war score. Okay, kill up. For real. Go away. 65 becomes 71. I think it was worth waiting. An extra 6 war score. We're going to be able to do a lot with that. Alright, things that cost 0 dip are the claims that we have. Return core is going to cost us probably the same amount of dip. Taking from rival, grant government form and rank, that's good. Uh, there's really no reason to use this instead of just using uh, seed territory. So, it's going to cost us 38 Diplo power. He's named it El Basan. What a liar. Normally it would cost 33 because it's 11 development. But we're reducing that by quite a bit. Um, and then from there, I think we do want to at least take probably like this province to create that whole enclave up there. Or if possible, how much more will you give me? You won't give me your capital, really? You would if I took nothing but that, but that would be really indefensible for me. We can make the enclave even bigger. 69 war score, that's quite fitting. Let's try to take like forts and stuff that are a pain in the butt. Like, yeah, Corfu, even though it's, you know, not really great. I mean, it is orthodox already. Actually, maybe we should take a look at the religious map mode. It's all orthodox. Excellent. So we're happy to see this land. 78 war score. This is about the best we can do. 52 power projection. It's pretty good. 
Okay, um, these countries might join a coalition against us. They're already in the coalition, so we don't care about them. 72% overextension is fine. 116 diplo points is fine. 72% overextension, like I said, is fine. 23.7 prestige is great. We get almost everything. We get almost all of the money, which is good. And uh, yeah, it'll cause great turmoil in their country if they refuse. So, haha. -ha. And we have maxed out the ticking war score. We're not going to do any more battles. Now's the time. I feel like this is good. We've gained a lot of coastal territory. We have two of, the, two of them that are already cores. This enclave is going to be great. Next war, we can easily take Constantinople, start feeding more trade into the Genoa node. Of course, as soon as our aggressive expansion cools off in this direction, we have to continue to expand into Genoa so that we can make more money here, so that we can move into Spain. And why are we doing? Why are we expanding into the Ottomans? Again, I, I talked about this three, two episodes ago. Mostly, it's because if something's going to give, you know, either I've got to beat them or they're going to beat me. So we just beat them. That's awesome. But also, we're going to expand just directly into this Caucasus or whatever it's called region. So let's do this, man. Thank you, Otto Man. I appreciate your generous donation to the cause. Uh, this fort in Corfu is really annoying. Uh, let's see, where did we gain forts? We gained two forts here and here. I think we, we probably just keep them for now, right? Mm, let's get our navy out there. Probably just want to start coring right away. Religious unity is fantastic because it's all already orthodox. Unrest is at a fair bit. Nothing major. 1.3 war exhaustion will be coming down pretty quick. Um, we have enough troops. We can pull some men off and... Ottomans no longer considers France to be a rival. They've instead rivaled me. Yay! <laughs> of course you did. Uh, we were hoping for our character to die so we can get rid of merchants doing poorly. That was a modifier on... Uh, no, that expires in four years. I don't think we can wait that long, though. We've got better ships available, too. Okay, and our estates demand stuff. They demand control of territory. The clergy want more land. Uh, no. Actually, I was thinking about taking away your land. I sought your support, I recruited a minister, and I accepted holy law. In 606, four years, something will go down. That's too soon, or too far away for this thing to go away. So I think what we're going to have to do is probably uh, revoke some of their land for now. They're going to get pissed. Actually, what if I just, if I give more land to these other guys, doesn't that... Affect the other guys' guy stuff? Draft ships for war. Construct five characters at 5% of the cost. I don't really care about the development cost. It's 250 ducats worth of ships. For what? Loyalty. Loyalty that doesn't matter. Do it. And actually, yeah. So for some reason, doing something to them just changed the this thing here. I... Let's try gaining some of their loyalty. And then... I don't want to do that. Having you gain influence, I wonder if that would affect your influence. I'm going to hire him. It did not affect that, guys. I don't want to get him any more land. Even though he's going to lose loyalty over time, I don't really care. We're not going to deal with that rebellion. Let's go ahead and hire that guy, although we have the theologian right now. Oh, do we already have a guy who's cheap, don't I? Crap. <laughs> Damn. Level 3 Master of Mint who's cheaper. Oh well, we did it for the influence anyway. I was thinking the Master of Mint would be nice, but... 
This time we'll gain Patriarch Authority. Apparently I can march through the Ottomans' land. I'm not really sure why. We have 99 power projection now, so I think we're solid there. And I do think we're going to tech up here. We almost have administrative efficiency, gosh. And okay, regardless of the 10% penalty, it's only 60 diplo points. Let's just take this tech so that we can start upgrading our ships. Income is okay. Our forts are rather expensive, 14 ducats a month. We do have some loans. Do we have a truce with Tunis? You have a claim on Tunis. That's the only claim you can get. Tunis is in the coalition against me. It's rather annoying. I could attack the coalition and bring Aus uh, bring France in. We laugh at their inferior diplomatic skills. Indeed. All right, so I think we're sitting and looking at like a, uh, a period of peace here where we're just trying to stabilize our new acquisitions, get rid of our unrest, get rid of our overextension. Our manpower is actually totally, totally fine, but I've gained more force limit and we need to build up our navy as well so that we can... Uh, so that maybe in the next war we can be in a position where we can beat the Ottomans. Naval. With Navy. And also we need to get the income up to support more force limit. If I could get uh, goods produced modifier and maybe turn on one of these policies, trade efficiency plus 20% would be pretty powerful. That's still where I think the majority of my income is coming from, yeah. Trade. What else do you think we could do in the Genoa node? France has a fair bid. We have 476 trade power, which is pretty good, 62%. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, Savoy has some. Are we concerned about our loyalty? Not really. We need the we need the prestige. Oh, uh, the rival of our rival is England, so they should be our friend. Right. Was I not going to do an alliance with them? That's fine, just, just do the alliance, I don't care. I mean, they've rivaled France. It may affect our, our ability to stay friends with France. I guess we'll see in a moment. Let's improve relations with them, see if it offsets it. If I have to drop that relationship, I will. Reduce overextension. Uh, we're coring probably all at about the same speed. Not quite, never mind. That mission would take a little while. That's going to give me a claim on... Buzua. Buzau, which we can't do for like a long time, like 12 or 13 years. So I think we do this one. Get diplomatic reputation up. Let's take a look at the coalition map mode. So the problem is the Ottomans are going to join the coalition, right? Obviously. So we can't let them get onto the same truce timer as everyone else. Over here, it's it's calming down a little bit. I mean, Austria is at 65, coming down at 2.9 per year. It's 20 years of aggressive expansion. Um, Venice, probably never going to leave the Coalition. I think we have to attack the Coalition. We have to attack one of France's rivals, like Spain, and force France to join us in fighting the Coalition. The problem is, if we, if we attack Spain directly, we have to deal with Spain's allies, which are annoying. Portugal and Russia. Russia's quite weak in this campaign, though. Would you join a war against, like, Savoy? He's in debt. He, I can't really actually do anything with him right now. We have 34 favors, though. What is... Can someone explain this to me, please? France is not allied to Austria. Why is Austria fighting... The French rebels. 
I don't understand. Why is it just because he gave him military access and he's just like, sure, I'll be nice. I don't I mean, thank goodness he's not like rivaled to him or something, being being even stupider. Okay, well he's dead now, so that's nice. Okay, so you're disloyal. Got it. How's the thing looking? It's, it's gone. I don't know that it remembered the number. It's not actually showing it like it saved it, so maybe we can grant them the land that they want. Oh, let's see. Estates. Who can we? What can we give you? The clergy want land. Preferably a province that needs to be converted. We give them Roma. If we want to give them 7.2 influence. Our missionary strength here is negative 1.5. It would actually make our missionary strength positive. we'd be right back to that same problem. So I think we just find like a low development province. Like say Burgas. We granted it to the clergy. It takes them to 79.4. But it doesn't specify if it's going to be enough to bring them up to 10%. So I guess we just try it. 9.7. Alright, well, whatever. You can have two gonna take them above 80% again. If I have to revoke it, I will. But I'd rather not lose loyalty. If it puts them at 81, let's see if the disaster next month automatically, like, if it remembers the progress that it had before. It doesn't. Okay, so great. So every time it gets too high, we just revoke it, piss them off, and then we give it back. Just kind of balance it out, you know? It is what it is. Okay. Unrest is looking pretty manageable, actually. We just gotta pay back that loan, keep income going up. Um, possibly consider scrapping a fort or two. Let's get these light ships working. Actually, we might have a heavy that got built in there, too. No, I didn't have... Did, did I end up taking that decision? I think I did. I forget now. Yeah, we got five heavies in queue. One of them just finished. Alright, speaking of heavies, we're not at war. Let's find a province that has a, a dock. Sorry, a uh, shipyard. Really any of these, right? Should all have them. And we are going to mothball the heavies while we're, while we're at peace. And that'll make us a lot more money that we can use to build more boats. It's going to be a little bit over the force limit at the moment. We also have ships that need to get upgraded. Like, we should be building what kind of ship now? Early Frigate. Which is the... Third ship. We've got caravels, mostly. I don't think I have any barks. Yeah, so... I'm not sure if I want to upgrade those. Um... 
they are fighting against Austria. Okay, yeah, by all means. I've got troops here. They're my rival. I have to honor the call. Well, Brittany's not my rival, but I'm, I'm going to honor this call. So never mind about that mothballing the Navy nonsense. Give me till January. Also, let me fabricate a claim on... Probably... We already have the claim on Laika. I want to work towards Veen, so let's go for a claim on Crane. Yeah, just let me get my navy together. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to deal with these rebellions right now, are we? And that's okay. I think this army should probably not stay in Africa. I don't think it needs to be down there for a while. We'll see, though. So we're at war with Austria. Fantastic. That's great for me. Um, I want to just specify that, yes, this is a vital interest, as is Crane, as is basically Austria. Uh, yeah, it's mine. Yeah, just so you know, Austria, I want all of your land. Although, what, what have you specified as vital interest? These? No, I don't care. You can you can be upset with me for wanting the same thing if you want. All right, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. Next video is gonna be us face smashing the Austrians now as well, knocking them out of the coalition, getting them on a separate timer. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be fantastic. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.